Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. So we're just going to do a quick garden tour uh, and show you the progress of everything, how it's looking now that we're into June. Um, so there are my nigellas, my roses in the back garden. They're all blooming nicely. My mint's been taken up. My mint's been taken over by Nigella. Um, there's some lavender there. Some of my chives are in bloom. I'm waiting for my lilies to pop up. So these hope lilies? these lilies here. So I'm hoping they'll start okay. flowering soon. Yeah, flag iris. So this. This is my flower border. There's some um, little, there's some calendulas there, some various different seedlings that have been planted out, more chives in there. Got a basket. Got it. Yeah, so we trimmed the hedges the other day and we've just left the leaves lying around on the ground uh, and let that decompose in place and there's a really nice uh, lawn sweep here at the moment waiting for the rest of them to bloom my sunflowers are at the back they're still looking quite small they're not looking uh, that great so we'll see what happens with them so these are my carrot pots um, we've had some baby carrots from here these are the carrots from the carrot planting video that you saw me do. There's some nice carrots there. Um, with, 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 what we're doing with them is, as they're growing, we're thinning them out and harvest them, uh, harvesting them as baby carrots and leaving the smaller ones to grow on. Some potatoes in buckets and pots over there. Uh, there's my gourd and there's a little trellis that we've put on this is a temporary trellis that we just put out just for this gourd and then once the gourd's finished we, j we take the trellis away again and we have we have this space to open up again so it's not anything fancy it's just a couple of uh two by fours a little bit of trellis on top a pallet on this side and just let the gourds cr that'll be covered that whole wooden frame there in about another few weeks that'll be covered in green There's my old wheelbarrow. This wheelbarrow served me, um, served me, served me for a, for about ten years. It worked hard, um, it went through a lot, and now it's giving me one last use as a raised bed. And I've got my carrots planted into there. Um, this is pointed gourd, also known as fotol in Bangla. Uh, so that's my pointed gourd. My lemons aren't looking too healthy. Uh, there's some more potatoes in buckets, so we'll add some more uh, manure and compost to that. My onions from uh, the onion planting video that you saw me do, um, they're coming on quite nicely. Um, it's been a bit windy so uh, the wind's broken a few of the leaves. And there's one of the gourds, far corner, there's two gourds over there. Another one at that corner, and another one at this corner here. We're just waiting for them to grow up, um, and we'll plant them up. These are the onions that are planted in winter. I overwintered these onions. A lot of them are going to seed now. So this is one of the things that happens when we plant uh, red onions uh, from sets. Red onions tend to, I've always found that red onions tend to go to set a lot quicker than uh, yellow or white onions. So um, that again, that's what we're seeing here. The white onions are the white onions are not going to seed as quick, but the red onions seem to be going to seed a lot faster. So there's my raspberries. Uh, they're looking nice and big, uh, growing up. And there's a I can see a lot of fruit set on them. Uh, and there's my strawberries down here. More strawberries down here. So this plum tree um, it's really been affected quite badly 
all the fruits um, turned quite deformed. We had a lot of aphids on this plum tree quite early. Uh, let me see if I can find one of the deformed plums. So some more strawberries there. Your scooter's there as well, Dave. Come on. Yeah. More strawberries all the way down this bed. So those plants that you've seen, they were a couple of years old. These are the strawberries from this year, the ones that I planted out this year. And they're already flowering and they, they've got fruit on them. I've had a lot of trouble with squirrels and uh, foxes and stuff digging up this bed. So um, it, I've lost quite a few strawberry plants from constantly digging it up. Got some black currants down that side. That side is just going to be a wild uh, hedge with fruit berries in it. So it's just going to be a wild hedge at the bottom, bottom there. Uh, there's my cherries. We've got some cherries set. That's not bad, alhamdulillah. So we've got climbing French beans here. Uh, growing up something's been nibbling at them so I, I guess there's aphids here somewhere but I can't see them this side of the uh, bed the French beans they've all been destroyed they've all been decimated they came up nice and well uh, but they've all, they've all been completely decimated um, so we've put some more seeds in the ground and you can see them starting to come up now there's there's one there so they're starting to come up again and these are the remains of the old plants. There's a couple of beans from um, my UK homestead. Kelly from my UK homestead sent me some uh, lab lab beans. And there's a couple of them. What we're going to do with them is we're going to plant a couple of them in the garden. And we'll plant a couple of them in, in the greenhouse and see how they get on. So my tomatoes have been planted out here. So there's quite a few tomatoes there. So, got onions planted in bunches there. Uh, what we'll do with them is as they start growing up, we'll thin them out and we'll leave a couple behind to mature. There's more coriander planted there. Uh, there's some, you can just see them coming up, some dinga. My well, Bangladesh Yuri are coming up as well nicely, they're climbing really nice. Uh, some of them have settled in quite well. A couple of the others have struggled a little bit with the cold weather that we had. And there's another tub of peas there again. My Bangladeshi Uris. So this bed, what we've done is we've planted a row of onions, a row of kohlrabi, and a row of cabbage down this side. So we've just direct sowed them, uh, and we've got a few volunteer potatoes that have come up. Um, we had potatoes in this bed last year. We took them out. We took them out a couple of times, but every time that we took them out, they kept on coming back up. And at the back there, there's my runner beans. So I've got a nice uh, set of runner beans over there. There's my empty garlic bed. Um, so it's just it's completely... Um, we've pulled the garlic out and it looks like it's... Um, all over the place at the minute so we we as with garlic like i mentioned in the garlic harvesting video you dig the garlic up rather than just pull them out as you can do with onions so again my gourds are settling in, in that bucket quite nicely um, and these gourds are going to go over a trellis over this bed here uh, and underneath the trellis i'm going to have these are the onions that i've planted out so once these onions take off those gourds are going to go over the top and I've got potatoes around the side. So it's a very much a polyculture bed rather than a mo monoculture style. And then we're onto our fruit bushes. So we've got pears over there. Um, pears are looking quite nice. 
Mashallah, those pairs are coming on quite nicely. Um, got red currants down there. That apple tree still not doing anything, so I won't even bother showing you that one. This apple tree's got quite a lot of fruit set on it, so that's looking quite good. Um, and we've got some gooseberries at the back. So this is part of my food forest type area here. Um, what, what, the way I've done it is that the food forest is around the edge and a clearing in the middle for my uh, crops. There's my pears. Big pile of wood chips. Uh, so they're, they're just going to compost down there. So there, there's a pumpkin that we tested out. It was looking a bit yellow. The cold didn't do it. It didn't too, do too well with the cold, but we've had some decent weather now, uh, and they're gonna they're um, we're gonna plant some more pumpkins out. Um, we've got some random poppies in the middle of the garden, so we'll just leave them flowering. Nice, nice uh, source of nectar for the bees. Um, lots more onions over here. So these are onions started from seeds down this side, and then onions from sets. And again, a couple of volunteer potatoes uh, that have popped up. You can't, you just seem can't seem to stop these things uh, whenever they pop up. No matter how much you dig, you'll always find one of these potatoes that is just looking huge. Um, there's my compost piles. That one's coming up to being ready to harvest, and that one needs turning soon. I harvested some more uh, vermicompost and I'm starting off the bin again. So what we've done is that in there we've got some um, hedge trimmings and grass clippings. And we'll just start stacking fruit and cardboard and stuff in there and let the worms do the work on there. And that's a tray of castings that I need to sift through but it's too wet to do anything with. So just cover that back up. And... There, my bag's leaf mould. I'll do an update on the leaf mould separately when when I have a look in that. And there's my last bed of onions. So another onion bed here, and again another volunteer potato that I couldn't uh, th that was just there. Um, and there are my peas. Uh, so these are the ones that I grew in the toilet rolls. These have come up quite nicely. Um, I've had a bit of a problem with the second set of sowing of peas that I did. Um, really suffered from the squirrels actually uh, digging, you know, coming and taking the peas. So we spotted the squirrels just coming out, coming and taking the peas here. We do have a couple of uh, them that have sprouted and managed to survive, but uh, yeah, the squirrels have done the damage this year. This bed is going to be where I'm going to plant more pumpkins. I uh, haven't decided what where I'm going to plant the sweet corn yet. Um, but we'll we'll get onto that very soon. Um, so there's uh, my F1 Incredible sweet corn. Look how nice and big they're looking. So they're ready to go out. They've been out hardening off in the garden. They're going to be planted out within the next few days. Here are some more sweet corn uh, that I sowed from seed. I sowed these in toilet rolls roughly around the same time. Well, not roughly, exactly the same time as I sowed the other ones. And I don't know what's going on with these because these are tiny and they're not looking anywhere near as healthy as the other ones. Um, the roots are coming out. The roots are coming out the bottom, so that they're looking healthy. The roots are fine, but I don't know why the plants are like this. So what I'm tempted to do, I'm tempted to whip them out of these toilet rolls and um, stick them just in compost and see how they're getting on, get on in that because I want, I want to plant them out but I'm scared to plant out something as sorry looking as that and last but not least uh, these are my potatoes and tyres looking very healthy um, what I've done with these I've sowed these potatoes in here at two, two levels so first level uh, of main crop at the bottom and then a, a level of uh, early's, second early's, uh, a level higher. 
So with that, we'll leave it there. And I'll give you another update very shortly. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.